Now let's take an example so that we can use the above properties that we have seen okay and somehow apply them to reach to a result. My example is or rather my question is I have been given these two conditions okay and I need to prove that B is equal to C. So let us see how we are going to do that with the help of all these properties that we have learned and also the properties of the set operations like these properties okay so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the property which says a intersection universal set is equal to a okay so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to say let us start off with the left hand side okay I have B I can write B is equivalent to B intersection the universal set right because that is a property that I have read right now what I can do is I can also write this as equivalent to the universal set is equivalent to a union a complement right you can take a look at it over here here you have seen that yeah where is it a union complement of A is equal to universal set so I have replaced the universal set with A union complement of A okay so this is good now what I can do is I can apply the distributive property over here so this is equivalent to B intersection A union B intersection A bar okay so I'm just going to write that this is distributive property okay and these are properties of union and intersection okay now what I am going to do is I am going to use the commutative property okay my commutative property says that B intersection A is equal to A intersection B therefore I am going to write it like this A intersection B right union complement of A intersection B there is no problem over here because I have used my commutative property right here next what I am going to do is I am going to use what is given to me okay it is given to me that complement of A intersection B is equal to complement of A intersection C okay and the other result as well so I am going to write over here this is equivalent to A intersection C okay union complement of A intersection C okay so there is no problem over here as well right because this was given to me now I am again going to use the commutative property I am going to write it like this this is C intersection A union C intersection complement of A okay so what I have used I have used commutative property next what I am going to do is I am going to use the commu sorry the distributive property over here I am going to write it like this C intersection A union A bar okay so this is the expansion of the distributive property therefore I can write it like this okay I have used my distributive property to reach to this step 